Hello Internet! Welcome back to the series on the Waveblade. In this video we want to create custom samples, upload them to the Waveblade waveform card and then use them on a Yamaha SY77. Right now the only way to do that is if you use a software called sy.factory. The software can be found on the website of Java librarians. You can download a trial version there and you can also buy it there. It costs a small amount of money, like 25 pounds or so. This is what the website looks like. They also offer a software for various other devices. And there you have sy.factory. I have it installed already and there it is. This is what it looks like. And as you can see in the tools, there's already a menu entry wave blade. And let's take a look at the preferences. Here we can also find a wave blade preferences tab. And there we see the communication port is empty. So that's because the programmer isn't plugged into the USB port. Let's do that now. And now it's plugged in. So let's take a look at the preferences once more, whether anything has changed. And there we have COM3. So this looks fine. Let's check out what we can do with it. In the tools menu, we have the wave blade entry and now it's doing something. So what we can see here now is a list of all eight slots, slots one to eight, and also slots A to D. And we can calculate checksums on these slots, we can erase them, we can upload content to these slots, and we can download content from these slots. Let's erase slot four so that it's free for the samples that we are about to create. But before we start to create our custom samples, let's maybe take a look at what it looks like when we open an existing bin file. So let's open uh, from the Synwave one, from the first video, the waveform image. And what we can see here is a tree of waveforms, the 16 waveforms that we have uploaded previously. And we can basically expand the entries of this tree. And what we can see is that waveforms can be made up of single samples or multiple samples. Let's take a look at what the edit dialog looks like. Okay, we can obviously play samples. Okay, and we can see all kinds of stuff like loop settings or sample information. Let's take a look at the second one. Okay, I think we have an idea what a bin file looks like. Let's create a new one. So let's create a drum set. I have a number of Lin drum samples right here. It's the awesome Lin drum sound. Now we go to new and new SY77 wave card file. And this is what a fresh wave card file looks like. Let's give it a different name first. Lindrum. Let's take a look at my samples once more. I have 29 files. And let's also take a look at 
what the sample format is. It's 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bits. Okay, and now we can import WAV files. And there we have it. The first sample is imported. Let's import a second one. And a third one. Okay, and let's uh, just edit it to see what has been imported. This seems to work. So now we can go on and import the remaining samples. But importing them one by one is quite a lot of work. So let's just mark all and import them in one go. There it is, all samples imported. And by the way, you can also edit the wave itself. There you can specify the tuning and if you have a multi-sample, you can also specify the original and high keys so that you basically have your keyboard mapping for your samples. Let's test it out one last time. Sounds great, doesn't it? Okay, let's save the waveform card image, the bin file, and then let's upload the content to the wave blade. We go back to the wave blade dialog window. It's loading the slot data again. There we have it. And let's upload the Lindrum to slot 4. There it is. Let's maybe check the size of the file as we plan to upload it to a 1 megabyte slot. It says 1 megabyte. I hope this is fine. Let's upload. The upload is done. SY.Factory is refreshing the card slot list once more. Upload was successful. And there we have it. Slot 4 says Lindrum. Let's take the card and put it into the SY77. Okay, let's start with the basic test of the waveforms. We select slot 4 and let's go to an internal voice. We go to edit. Or maybe let's just uh, take a stock drum set and copy it to the internal program so that we override some samples of the stock drum set. Let's call it Lindrum. Let's just check some basic parameters of this voice. The voice volume, okay, it's 127. Um, okay, then let's start to edit. Actually, we don't hear anything because output 2 is off. And we see this now. Anyway, let's take a look at what the waveforms look like. And they look kind of weird. I just test slot 3. Okay, it still looks weird. And I just try it once more. It 
nope, something is definitely wrong here. And I suspect we might have gone a little bit over the one megabyte limit. So I'm testing this maybe with a simple one element AWN voice, but it's the same. Okay, I take out the card and what I do now is I reprogram the bin file to have uh, a few less samples and so that we are definitely under one megabyte. There I am back again and slot 4 is programmed with the same sample set but with I think two or three samples deleted. Let's test if we can access the samples on the card now. And these look like our Lindrum samples. This looks fantastic. Okay, let's finally get back to the Lindrum voice. And let's do that basically by overwriting a few waveforms with our Lindrum samples. We still don't hear anything. I have to put up the slider for output two. Okay, this is a Lindrum kick with reverb. Okay, the reverb is a little bit irritating right now. Let's just turn it off. This sounds better. Okay, now let's reprogram a few of the keys. Okay, this should be enough for testing. There you have it, a Lindrum voice for the SY77. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe if you like this video and see you next time.